Ooh. 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 Uh, I have my funky flower mag. Mug. Yeah, mug. And by the way, this is this is not coffee. This is black Turkish tea. I know it's not a popular thing to say, but I think I'm a morning person simply because when I wake up, I turn all the instruments on, all the you know, flashy lights on, and I start working without even going to the restroom, finishing all the physical needs. I just you know listen to what I have done, you know, the day before, or two days before, you know, without not seeing anything, but, you know, it's a good way to start a day, I guess. For me, it's perfect. I wanted to start this vlog series for quite some time now because of two reasons. First reason, I feel like this is a much better, maybe a more personal way of engaging with you guys, keeping you updated on what's going on. And second reason is you know, the entire internet is moving into, you know, that direction of easy video sharing and, you know, recording vi videos and sharing videos has never been as easy as it is today. And it's probably going to be much easier, you know, in the future. So why not, you know, getting a habit of doing these kind of things. I also talked with, with a friend of mine, her name is Jovana Miljanovic, she actually kind of encouraged me to do this because she wants to do vlog videos herself and she'll cover some interesting topics some you know internet marketing topics and some you know basic life topics like where to travel how to travel the cheapest way she knows these things because she worked in vivo she also worked in, as a cabin crew for some airplane company she has a lot of experience so I think she'll be an interesting person to follow, so make sure to follow her on Twitter for now until she starts, you know, her video blogs. Vlogs. <laughs> yeah, sorry if you guys see the mess, hopefully you don't see it. Yeah, I started packing because tomorrow we are leaving for a three-show tour in Italy and I can't wait because Yeki and Vanya, they're awesome musicians and really good friends. Alexandra Jalmas, she's been my friend for 10 years now. Just the thought that, you know, we are sharing the stage together finally and playing, you know, the songs we wrote as teenagers, <laughs> it's, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, actually the show in Aosta will be my first show that I will play on an amplifier. I've never played a show on an actual amplifier in my life. And I'll need to bring some pedals, obviously. I'll, I'll bring my you know, carbon copy. It's an analog delay. I really miss tap tempo function on it. For me, it's kind of useless live. But in the studio, if you're recording one song, you know, you set up the tempo, you put it on the floor, turn it on, turn it off. It works amazingly well. And it's the best sounding analog delay I've heard ever. And the modify overdrive pedal, I can't even express how awesome this thing is. I've been using it on, on every single guitar take on my new album, Ego and Eco, and this thing, yeah. Since we are on the topic of packing, a few days ago someone sent me a message asking me like, what it is that I bring on those you know shows with Destiny Potato. It's like the most basic stuff. Um, I bring my XFX, all kinds of cables, some extra cables, pedals this time. Usually I don't have any pedal boards, any MIDI controllers because everything is auto automated. I'm bringing a bunch of guitar picks. For live I'm using the Jazz 3 Ultex XL because that pick never slips through your fingers, at least through mine. And I have like the most sweaty palms when I'm playing. Also I'll bring some basic tools for guitars and what else? Yeah, guitars. Um, I'm bringing two guitars with me. I'm bringing Good Guerrilla Fab. And I'm bringing the Ibanez Custom S series from 1998, which is awesome. And that's it. And yeah, something you're probably most interested in is, is you know, my next release, Ego and Ico. And I can't reveal much. 
actually I can but I want yet this release is huge for me in a, in a personal way in an emotional way I could have easily jumped into Bilo 4 uh, right after Bilo 3 but I felt like I needed to do this before I continue the Bilo series so it just feels right to do it and I can't wait to put it out I found few amazing vocalists I won't reveal their names yet because I still need to see how working with them will, will go but I'm pretty sure it's going to be great anyway I hope you like the idea of me doing this vlog series I'll try to do them a few times a month I'll try to make it a habit of mine and of course you guys will be really helpful if you leave some questions or suggestions on, on the topics I should cover in the comment section below or on the sides. I'm not sure where the comment section is right now. But yeah, anyway, do it. It will help me. Um, and I'm hoping to see you guys soon. soon. Yeah. Meh. 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 Meh.